Last winter, dominated by El Nino, was a strange one in Maine. Portland's first inch of snow didn't fall until January 7th. That's the second latest in 133 years of records. Winter 23-24 will also be remembered by storms with major flooding events. The first on December 18th brought so much rain, some western Maine rivers crested at record levels. The unfortunate timing of a storm hitting at some of the highest astronomical tides of the year brought coastal flooding levels never seen before along the Maine coastline. We saw a drain back here that was just bubbling up like a geyser. Just when you thought winter was over, an icing event for coastal towns turned the power off for a few days in late March. A week later, a foot and a half of snow inland brought more power outages than the ice storm of 1998. I don't know how long we'll be without, so i got to fill up everything I can. Unlike last winter, we are headed into a weak La Nina. That means the ocean water temperature in the equatorial Pacific is running cooler than normal. Equally as important, the ocean water temps in the northern Pacific are running warmer than normal. These two have been known to combine to manipulate the jet stream to produce an active storm track through the northern plains, the Midwest, and the Great Lakes. That usually keeps the coldest temperatures relative to normal to our west. It can sometimes lead to late developing nor'easters, and I anticipate that will get going in December, which should bring snow to our area earlier than last winter. Let's analyze 12 recent La Nina winters similar to this year. The numbers suggest a high probability of a warmer than normal winter. There's also a clear signal for snowy and cold bookends of the season. December shows a 75% chance of being colder than normal and a 67% chance snowier than normal. 83% of La Nina years analyzed had a cold March. 75% of those Marches had big snowfall. Winter 24-25 is expected to be warmer than normal in the northeast. Coldest temps relative to normal should be to our west, through the Great Lakes, through the northern plains, and through some of the southern provinces of Canada. Precipitation during the prime months, December, January, and February, should be around normal here in the northeast. How that translates to snow can be tricky. It's Maine, it's going to snow this winter, but right now I'm not seeing signs of a big snow winter. I anticipate below normal snowfall in the northeast this upcoming winter. Running the numbers show other interesting and chilling findings. Narrowing down weak La Ninas to include similar warmth in the North Pacific like this year suggests a high probability of quick hitting extreme cold. Two thirds of the winter's research show lows 12 to 19 degrees below zero in Portland. The coldest temperature on record in Maine was during one of those years, 50 degrees below zero at Big Black River in January 2009. You may remember 10 to 30 degrees below zero on New Year's Day 2018. Another February 2023 brought wind chills of 108 degrees below zero on Mount Washington. But some of those winters also included record warmth in February. In 2018, we had highs in the 70s. So let's break down the winter forecast further. In addition to a warm winter with below normal snowfall, there's a high probability of snow on the ground Christmas morning and overall stormy start to winter in December. Let's go with a January or early February with a cold snap of 10 to 25 degrees below zero. Big temperature fluctuations in February will lead to an early start to maple sugaring season. Some recent La Ninas have brought active March weather. You may remember the four nor'easters in four weeks in March of 2018. That's unlikely to happen again, but expect a spring where winter may be slow to let go.